Okay, so I don't need no intro. First thing, I wanted to, I was going to record this video earlier, but I had some running around to do. But the thing about it is, I'm in like this major, 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 major transitional phase, right? And I've been through this phase before. I went through it the year before, last year, the year before that, and the year before that. And it just seemed like it's the same, same type of energy, right, that I'm faced with. I, first of all, let me start by saying this. I believe and I know for a fact in my heart that I am a good person, I am a loving person, I am a caring person, um, I'm a happy person, naturally, like, I like to laugh and be silly, and I don't, I'm serious a lot, but I would rather, you know, it's because I have to be, but if I didn't have to be, I would be, you know, carefree and silly, but life has forced me into being angry more than just being carefree and silly. And it's really starting to weigh on me. Like, I don't want to be that way anymore. I want to be, I want to let the, the happier parts of me out more. But the problem is, it seems that every time I do that, someone tries to take advantage. And in, in, in that, you shouldn't let anybody or anything steal your joy, period. Period. But it's hard when you know that your intentions are good and some body or something comes along and tries to hurt you or pull you down it's hard not to go down with it but one thing that I have had to do so many times so many times is to walk away from things walk away from people that no longer serve my highest self <laughs> And then walking away from those things knowing that I shouldn't go back. And every time I have gone back, it's been worse than before. That's the pattern. It's also a pattern of a pattern of me getting to a certain place and something knocks it off. You know, me not having tunnel vision and allowing other things to enter my life knock me off my game. Cause I'm a person who cares about people and when I'm into somebody I'm into somebody and when I care I care and when I don't I don't it's just there is no there's no middle it's either I care or I don't okay but I'm I'm 31 years old going through the same kind of cycle that I've been through and every time I have been hurt or been let down or just treated in a way that I don't deserve and I'm not talking about just romantic relationships I'm talking about just overall treated in a way that I don't deserve it has taken a piece of me away so now I sit here feeling not whole and that's not an okay place to be <clears throat> And then I'm going through similar things that I've, I've, I've went through. And I've worked so fucking hard to not go through again. But I can't be in a situation where I'm mistreated. And I can't be in a situation where I'm not respected. Not respected as a person. And most of all, not respected as a woman. Okay? Especially when safety comes into play. I don't play with that. And the main thing for me with anything and anyone in my life is 
I have to feel protected. I should feel protected. Because I'm going to protect the people that I care about. So if I'm ever in a situation where I feel like someone is not protecting me and is willing to sacrifice me or let something happen to me, that's not okay with me. That's not okay. And you will see a side that you don't like. And I have had to make some very hard decisions in the span of a week. Some very scary decisions. But at the same side, there's a part of me that feel like this is the journey that I'm meant to embark on and walk through this alone. Because anytime that I have put my faith into certain people, they have always let me down. And I can't do that anymore. I'm, I give so much of myself in everything that I do. I give so much of myself. And I can't say that in certain situ the situations where I have felt depleted or drained, I know it's because I was not giving, getting back the things that I gave, right? And life is about balance and reciprocity. Knowing that the things that you're giving are worth it. The people that you're giving it to are worth it. And for me, that has not always been the case. By no stretch of the ima imagination am I perfect. But I'm an amazing woman. I'm a loving woman. I'm a caring woman. I'm a dedicated woman. I'm a ride or die type of woman. And like I said, I'm not even just talking about romantically. I'm talking about friendship. But when somebody does something to you and they betray you and they hurt you, I can't be that woman anymore. And it makes me not want to be that woman ever. But the thing that I have had to come to within my myself is I have to remove myself from any situation that does not allow me to be the amazing, loving, dedicated, fun, you know, happy woman that I know that I am, that I fight to hold on to. I have to remove myself from those situations because every time I don't, it takes away and it chips away at the oh Lord she's wet it t it uh chips away at that foundation that the world has tried so fucking hard to knock down all this time ever since I was a little girl the happiness and my light the world has tried to take away from me and a lot of times I have allowed it to do so but I don't want to allow it to do so anymore I want to know when to remove myself from a situation before it becomes draining. I know I want to know when to remove myself from a person before they can hurt me. I want to know and be confident in the steps that I'm taking in my life to not question myself. Look at these nails, child. This is sad, baby. This is sad, okay? Lord, you know, self care is important, and I can't do my self care like I want to right now. But guess what? When she can, she will. But that's just the main thing. And I'm working on my root chakra this week and being completely grounded. I've been meditating like crazy, like crazy, like crazy ever since my anxiety was super bad last week. Every time I feel myself getting anxious outside taking my medication, I try to go and meditate and focus on other things. I know that I'm meant for greater things. I know that I'm put on this earth for something special. And my wealth may not lie in my pocket, but it lies in my love and it lies in my heart and it lies within these children that the Creator has given me to lead. So.